yeah. This is for the culture. And for those who love us. Chill. CMW. Compton's most wanted in this motherfucker. South side to the best. North side to the beast. Doing four with the 80. Greater later. Player to player. Real shit lasts forever. Yeah. All right, moving on with the creativity. Yeah. Um, you guys, both of you, you guys got a special relationship with the East Coast. They yeah. was probably, you guys was probably the first that they really reached down. You and probably Cuban was like, these West Coast cats got something going. Yeah. And y'all formed relationship, I guess, because of touring with mm -hmm. Guru mm -hmm. and DJ Premier. Elaborate on that. Mm -hmm. CMW. Anyone it's just else? what you said. You know, back in the days, touring with them cats. You know, and, you know, EMI and Capital was in New York. Yeah. So we spent time out there, you know, riding around with these dudes and hanging and, you know, smoking and chilling and getting to know them. You know what I'm saying? And they was fresh on the block, too. Yeah. 89, ain't that when Gangstar came out? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we was doing all our shows right. together. You okay. know what I'm saying? Y'all was, was doing the promo stuff together. Shit like right. that. You yeah. know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Baby spot dates and all of that. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? But just kept it cool. Then I left. And him and, and, and Aiden, they, they kept going. Keith, the uh, uh, guru, God bless his soul, he checked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shit, Aiden Primo still rocking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nice. You yeah. know, so he just became doper and tighter and tighter as a friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, um, you tend to meet people in this business over the course of your career. Yeah. You know, you run across certain people that, you know, it's just like when you're a kid. And you maybe join your first sports team or mm -hmm. whatever. There's certain people you meet that you're just gonna be in contact with for the rest of your right. life. Mm -hmm. You and, just click um, like that. Starting as young artists, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everything was New York based. Mm -hmm. um, all the labels, everything was New York based. And me, like I said, being a, a true fan of hip hop, mm -hmm. you gotta know hip hop started in the East Coast. Right. So, um, exactly. I was a very uh, big connoisseur of, he, of East Coast music. So was I. You always hear it, you know. You, mm -hmm. I was We listen to it, it all. I mean, yeah. when we was young cats riding around in my Suzuki, you know, chill, no, that we, all I used to bump was BDP. Public, yeah. Public <laughs> public JVC public Force. Uh, uh, EPMD. EPMG. Ultra Magnetic I mean, MCs. That's it. I right? Mean, that's all we bumped. We wasn't so, on automatic. <laughs> Ultra Magnetic MCs was here. Being <laughs> able to. <laughs> can't rock with them. Being able to jump on an airplane for the first time and, mm. and go to the New York and mm -hmm. see Manhattan and go around to these different places, um, starting our career, you know, like Chill said, we would go on promo tours. That's right. what they did back in the days. Yeah. They used to send you to different states, you know, right. so you yeah. can give you go that to, per diem. Um, you go mm -hmm. to the one, you go to the, uh, you go to the one stop, one and stops. Then you 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 meet the warehouses, key dudes, or the, the little mom and pop stores, mm -hmm. and you go around to about twenty different stores in the city, you sign, sign autographs or whatever. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these places. A lot of artists would be, you know, from different areas, you know. Ghetto Boys might be, you know, at the store down the street. And, and Gangstar might be at the store in the mall. Mm -hmm. And right. CMW is at the store out in the country. Right. And, and we're all running in the same circle. So you're nice. bumping into niggas all right. the time, all the time. Uh -huh. And that's one That's one cat I used to always bump into. Always right. used to bump into Primo. Always, uh -huh. always. We used to basically half of my career in the beginning of Contest Most Wanted that it was it was CMW Ghetto Boys Gangstar. Mm -hmm. That was it. We was everywhere. So right. we just connected. So mm. when I started going to New York, you know, when Chill was down and I started mm -hmm. going to New York, I just hit Primo up. Man, what's uh -huh. up? I'm in town. He come scoop me up in nice. the MPV. And that's how I got to meet a lot of cats. You know, I right. got to meet a young buster. I got right. to meet Nas. I right. got to meet Tretch. Right. I, yeah. I got to meet a lot of dudes. So that's where the respect built. Like, right. Oh, this cat eight is out here, and even though we had the, you know, the fuck Compton shit and the Tim Dog shit and all that, we still garnered a gang of respect from them niggas right, 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 because right, right. they looked at us as true niggas, right. yeah. like. Oh, them some true niggas right, right there. Like, <laughs> nigga, we on the motherfucking train. You yeah, get me? Like, nice. we, nice. we try to do shit. As normal as possible from being entertainers. Right. We didn't look at ourselves like that. Motherfuckers like, nigga, we going down to the bodega, get some pizza and shit ever. Nigga, yeah. it's two in the morning. We ain't got no security and shit. Right. It's just yeah. us belly. Jump on the subway. Niggas Let's is, go to the Bronx. Niggas is <laughs> nice. seeing us, and that's the respect we get. Nigga, we belling down the street. Niggas is passing by like... Fuck where y'all going? Right, right. <laughs> like, hey, oh, God, oh, man. So it was out of that. 
from nice. the respect of that from that was one nigga I just stayed in touch with. Right. Him and, and Face. Him and Brad. My nigga Brad. Uh-huh. Yeah. How's he, niggas, how's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing good, I just good talk, now? I just talked to him last week. He just, he called me. Him and, Blessings. Uh, him and my man Willie D. They okay. about to start a podcast. Okay. So yeah, yeah, he yeah, called yeah, me yeah. asking yeah, me. Willie D be on it. He be yeah, on it. He be on it. He be on it. He ready for the revolution. Yeah. Like I said, it's just dudes who throughout my career that I consider like this ain't no rap nigga. Yeah. Like, let me call this nigga right That's now. That's the homie. It's fucking it's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I know a nigga in the bed, but I'm still finna call his ass. Right. Like, yeah. nigga, wake your punk ass right. up. I, I need to holler at you. <laughs> Do y'all, didn't, y'all didn't catch that, though. The <laughs> way <laughs> y'all didn't catch that, though. That's, wake your punk ass that's up, right. nigga. That's my nigga. Yeah. That's my nigga Primo and that's Scarface. Nice. You know, that's Chill. That's my nigga Rich. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's certain niggas you build relationships with that you got that. And that's what I got with Primo. Right. Right. That's why he could call me today. Eight, I need you to do this. I can call him like, motherfucker, I need a beat. Right. And he mm-hmm. send me a beat. It, it ain't no money involved. It ain't no, it's all love. So that's what me and Primo have. And Dope. then you got down with Pete Rock too. Like that that's shit was too. hard as fuck. That's, that's my nigga, nigga too. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I call that nigga Primo's right my nigga too. too. That's my nigga, man. Yeah, but. But Pete Rock, that's my nigga. Pete Rock, I've been a fan of Pete Rock since Soul motherfucking Brother. Who has Soul it? Brother, Come man. on. <laughs> Who has it, man? Since Mecca and the Soul Brother. Yeah, right, man. Okay. man. Uh, yeah. Pete Rock shout out to Pete Rock. Man. Yeah, shout CL. out to Pete yeah, Rock, yeah. my nigga. It's, it's, sure, it's, sure. it's just certain niggas in this industry, man. You just got to give them they props, man. Yeah. yeah. Niggas who have solidified true hip hop. Yeah. You get yeah. me? And those are them niggas. Primo, uh Pete Rock and CL Smooth. For sure. Motherfucking public enemy. Yes. EPMD. Right. Fucking Ice T. Uh-huh. Right. Get me too short. CMW. Right. It's a lot of niggas like <laughs> yeah. I, I, Lance I, Mob. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you got to be true fans of, and that's why I tell niggas first. You know, I'm a true fan of these motherfuckers. Like, even if I didn't know them personally, I'd be playing their motherfucking music. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. For sure. For sure. All right. So, you're doing a podcast now, mm-hmm. Gangster Chronicles. Gangster Chronicles podcast. Shout out, my boy. shout out to Gangster, Gangster Chronicles. Gangster Chronicles. Shout out my boy, uh, Big Steel. My boy James That's Charlemagne. Right. What's good? What yes, is yes. good? What is good? Yeah, I checked out a few episodes, and they're fantastic. Yeah, I'm telling you, I was we was just quoting one, and he got hot. I was yeah, like, I, man, man, I was. I'm, I'm I'm trying to get in this podcast game, man. It's, hey, it, at first I was a little skeptical because uh-huh. I'm a quiet motherfucking nigga. I uh-huh. like to just look and observe shit and see what's going on. But there sometimes there are conversations and situations that people don't know. And then you hear motherfuckers tell stories. And it's, they don't be right. Wrong, right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, and don't right. be right. That That's why I joined the show. You know, um, I was approached by Charlemagne and Steele to join the show. Oh. Uh, and I'm like, man, I don't know. No fucking podcast. So at first, you see, to watch the first couple of episodes, you'll see me just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> but then, when you start meeting people, right. and you start hearing their stories, mm. and shit is start relating towards home. Right. You know, mm. niggas who've been to prison, right. niggas who've been wrongfully accused yeah. and had to sit in time, mm. and then niggas who have gotten out and bettered their lives and working with the youth and trying to you know make themselves it's super better. good content. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what we try to bring on the show. You know, we try to deal with real shit. You know, niggas who done lost uh, family members, mm. niggas who have been incarcerated wrongfully or just uh-huh. the fucked up system. And we deal with hip hop. Yeah. And, and, and niggas like from us, you know, uh-huh. coming from the streets. Right. Uh, bringing that aspect. Like I said, I came from the streets banging and all that. Chill. We did that thing. Uh-huh. But you see me now. I've been coaching football for the last 12 yes, years. Nice. You know, positive with the kids and uh-huh. shit. Everybody on my team gets sponsored by Adidas with mm-hmm. fucking cleats and shit yeah, like dope, that. Dope, so, yeah. dope, dope. Shout, shout out to out, that. Shout, yeah. out, shout, shout out, out to that, to the yes. kids. Yeah, and uh, I think your, your son is a quarterback. My son is a quarterback Ooh, right now. Killing fucking, him. Uh, Star quarterback killing at him. that. Killing him. He, he all right. Ah, that, boy nah. that boy be zit. He got <laughs> Brady in him. He got him? <laughs> he ready? I've, he, I've he, seen him. Okay. Hella dope. Hella dope. Man, my thing was to give the children an opportunity that we unfortunately didn't have, Mm. you know, not that my moms didn't try to give me everything Uh as a single mom. It was a hard struggle. You get me? So there were certain things that I didn't get. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't pout about it. 
because I was a nigga who went out and started selling crack. Right. I <laughs> <laughs> would get it anyway. Well, <laughs> pretty much. Exactly. And I wasn't a good crack seller. <laughs> <laughs> you got niggas who sell, man. You be like, God damn, this nigga got gang of money. Yeah. And nigga like me be like, <laughs> man, I, got, I got $40, man. Something, something ain't working right. But I guess that was my motherfucking calling, right. you know. The Lord decided, nigga, you know, even though you out here banging and claiming the hood and, mm -hmm. you know, you rolling through shit and That's pistols and all that, he gave me the ability to write music. Right. And I don't know if I had different opportunities, you know. You know, my father, rest in peace. I never had a problem with my father. Mm -hmm. Good dude, you know, worked every day, General Motors, whatever, he passed. Mm -hmm. I never regretted anything, right. you know, being in the house with moms and my sister right. and my little brother and him living in Oklahoma. and I never regretted shit. Yeah, Cause y'all house was, was just, fun, man. I used to have fun at your house. <laughs> we were, that, my I would want to be house. at your house more my than house my house. Was, yeah. my, my house was the. We had the big ass stereo and shit. Oh, that was I like said. my house in England. <laughs> yeah. Even though we grew up poverty stricken, we didn't live poverty stricken. Right, exactly. Like mama, nigga, mom, nigga, my moms ran out and got whatever. You get me? Right. I remember when they came out with the little portable motherfucking Pac-Man games. Man. Oh, yeah. The little yeah. ones. Yeah. Them the motherfuckers little was cost like a motherfucker. Yeah. You didn't think my mom went and bust her ass to get me and my sister yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, Just man. so when the when the fancy kids and you know, came through when my cousins, yeah. when, when, mm -hmm. the, when the single cousins yeah. that ain't got no brothers yeah. and sisters, yeah. and they oh, come yeah. the over with fancy the only shit, yeah. and they walking in with their little Miss Pac Man and they fancy <laughs> shit, <laughs> Bam. Oh, break it out on the Shay, 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 go yeah. grab my shit right quick. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah. They yeah. got one of these motherfuckers too. Yeah. That was something my moms did. Right, you get mm -hmm. me? Um, struggling woman. Yeah, we went to private school. Right, you get me? Now, a lot of niggas don't know that. I went to private school like six, seven years of my life okay. because that was something my moms felt like, man, we in the middle of hell. Right. Mm. Got to get him out of something. Right. Because mm. God damn it, nigga, every night they bust it. It's cracking. Right. Nigga, and you know, chill, yeah, where man. I live, nigga, it's cracking. Yeah, they coming. <laughs> I'm yeah. talking about it was so normal. Yeah. We just know Rich, what to do. You know what yeah. nigga, it Stand was on the crack. side of the pole. They won't see you. Nigga was you cracking on Johnson Street. Nigga, yeah. Yeah. all cracking. them Compton stories was hitting Inglewood like, like nigga, motherfucking nigga, was, folklore, nigga. Like, <laughs> was, let me tell you something. 80 fucking, 85, 86, 87, 88. Right. Nigga, Thunder. the hub city was cracking. I'm talking yeah. about you could just smell gun smoke. It's right. coming outside. Right. It'd be so nigga, much I'm talking about nigga up. as a young motherfucking kid, nigga, going to school in the morning, standing on the bus stop. Right. Niggas pulling up, clack clack. Right. Where yeah. you from? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I'm looking like where I'm from. I'm from over there. <laughs> I just came yeah. from. A, I'm a young ass kid. Yeah. Like, I'm 11 years old. Yeah. One yeah. thing I'm that niggas nigga. do not understand is like I'm from Avenues, right in Inglewood. Niggas, other than the lanes. Niggas never really went to the east, bro. Nah. Like we kept mm. it where we was at. We would hear about shit over there. Be like, yo, we, man, we on some different shit. Yeah. 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 If you was a banger yeah. and you was the baby banger, yeah. like we were, nigga, you don't venture yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's good where you at. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. enough going yeah. on. Us coming to Inglewood is like shit. We far. Yeah, we, bro. Bro. <laughs> we going to different spots in Compton because we cool with certain areas and certain neighborhoods. Right. We get along with. Right. So you mm -hmm. able to venture, right? But nigga. Like I said, with the lanes, we was able to go to the but that was about it. You crossed them motherfucking territorial lines of getting out of Compton, you in another fucking territory. We far. That's all you knew, like, yeah, we far. L.A. We go to motherfucking L.A., nigga. That's far. You talking about putting a nigga on the ship, nigga, like a slave. Taking him somewhere, nigga, going to L.A. Fuck that shit. Why we going to L.A.? We got everything we need around this motherfucker. We ain't going nowhere. So I learned from that. And so I want to give my son a different path of yes, life, man. So yes, at the age of three, I'm like, nigga, you finna try it all. We going to play soccer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that's what it, if that's nigga, I'm like, yeah. yeah, nigga, ain't never played no more for the soccer. <laughs> Me never been interested. I played on the video game, right. yeah, but I'm yeah, like, yeah. you know, it was the only thing he could play at three years right. old. Okay. I shoved his ass in there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I used to get frustrated because I wasn't a coach and I'm just a parent. And my son be like, shit, all the kids running up and down the field with the soccer ball. And you see the little S.A. kids and they getting off, kicking the ball. I'm like, I want my son to be like that. <laughs> that motherfucker kid bad as a motherfucker. What Karan right. doing? Karan standing in the middle of the field like this. 
Like, man. Watching everybody run back and forth. And then a run over to his mama and jump in her lap and just sit there. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? I'm right. talking about furious, frustrated to where I'm in the parking lot with binoculars trying to look. I feel like I intimidate him because I want to be so. But I just kept him in sports, kept right. him in sports. Okay. And the next thing you know, he tried out baseball Then he tried out basketball. Uh-huh. And then I put him in tackle football and the rest is history. Oh, nice. The, nice. Nigga put on a, the nigga put on a pair of shoulder pads and a helmet. And it was like, nigga, he was, nigga, oh. Yeah. That was it. He was like, that was his lane. And yeah. then his lane. thing was he couldn't do shit at first. He wasn't no specialty player. He wasn't no. I used to just line that nigga right up over the middle of the motherfucking uh, center, and I say every time they say snap, you just crack. Right. Yeah. And he loved it. Right. Well, that's what let me know he had a future. In right. Him. Yeah. Because when the first time I put that helmet and shoulder pads on him and say you gotta hit this motherfucker, yeah. He was like, oh, for real? Right. Let's go. Let's Blue. go. So right. yeah, I took my boys to eight. Oh yeah, did, 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 I said, that. do what you did to yours to mine. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> right. That's but that's one thing you see in a lot of uh, youth football. Like I said, I coach five year olds to fourteen. Uh-huh. Okay, see a lot of single moms coming. Uh-huh. You get me? Mm. I've seen a lot of kids. You know, no disrespect to the dads. Dads be hard working. You right. know, yeah. I, I know what it was like. You know, you you be on your money chase. You be on your thing, whatever. Some of the kids get neglected. You uh-huh. get me? So. Nigga, I have five, six boys at my house. I don't give a fuck. Come over, yeah. spend the night. Right. I got you food. I yeah. got you cleats. And to this day, from when they was five years old to now they're 16, right? they still come around. Nice. Now, I'm talking about some star-ass kids. Right. Out there. Yeah. Motherfuckers, you finna yeah, be man. playing you about, to, you about to see them. Right. You about to see them. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So, and not that I done anything, but just being there. You get me? Nigga, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. You get me? Yeah. Because that's a lot. I'm seeing... What I didn't have. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. Like I said, no disrespect to my pops. I didn't have that. Right. I didn't get my dad taking me to the football games. Was or your dad an older dad? No. Oh, okay. My dad okay. was just one of those, he wanted them 70s dads. Right, man. right, right. Yeah, Come right. on, man. Yeah. yeah he yeah, grew yeah. up in them households, yeah, man. Right, Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Real he was, talk. He was. So, he won them 70s right. dads, man. Right. <laughs> we're, 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 you had you a 70s dad, man. Come on, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was a little vicious sometimes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. They 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 hit that and they hit that whatever. You yeah, know, yeah. My, my pops used to like to get wet mm. and, and have them a drink or whatever. Yeah, and, and cocaine was running rampant, the, nigga. Then well, in the 70s, was, that was right like a, uh, just a regular party little My dad drug. was in the Navy. All yeah, that okay, shit. Already. All that shit. All that shit. You get yeah. me? You, My pops exactly. was a drug we, ain't, we ain't even got to describe <laughs> exactly the, the what times was going on. Exactly. Of what was going on in a lot of households, right. black yeah. households. Right. And not to even just, I don't even like to, I hate when the black and the Mexican are, yeah, well, yeah. I hate yeah. to do that shit. Right. Because if it happened, it happened. Right? Yeah, yeah. To exactly. A lot of us. Everyone. Get me? Nigga, my, my dad was a top. Uh, bookies number runner, nigga. Like the top nigga, he was the, his name was Big Black, nigga. He ran so all you, of so, LA. So That's you, the hustle. You, you, you know exactly what we went through yeah. as young kids yeah. growing up in the seventies. Yeah. You get me? A lot of broken homes and shit. Yeah. yeah. So, but. And you see that. So that's why my participation came with the football. Okay. And I started seeing kids who dads wasn't around or dads who had to work or whatever. And, Coach, can we come spend the night or can I go to the game with you tomorrow? And right. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Let's right. do it. Let's do it. So, yeah. And then you can be you, you, you that's God's work. accustomed to that's it. That's God's work, though. Yeah. And then you yeah, become accustomed to it and it's just fun. Then, you know what I'm saying? What I say is just to have that damn responsibility, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and just accustomed to it. Man, that's enough to keep you living for 20 more years right there, bro. I know what I was doing at 15, Mm -hmm. 14. Exactly. And it wasn't a football. I can say that my son don't claim no game. Mm -hmm. Right. He ain't been in no juvenile hall. That's right. So I'm on the right path. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 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 Now, 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 the other shit. I don't know. You get me? <laughs> now, the other shit, the, the, the fucking females. Shout out to the football right. stars. Hey, what, what can hey, you do? I know what I was doing yeah, at exactly. 16. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Oh, you get me? Any the, any the top quarterback? But Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah, God nigga. damn it, man. <laughs> yeah, cheerleaders some too. cheerleaders about to get slayed, nigga. Exactly. Like I said, but like exactly. I said, these he, kids he don't, don't even want kids these days, though. Yeah. yeah. No, that's Yo, man, my son, he's 28. I tell you, But it's crazy because these kids nowadays, they really be more about 
all splashing. A, a lot of them. No, no, they are. They splash, all the songs. nigga. Like, what Let the fuck? Let me tell fuck? you something. Every fucking song this nigga play when we in the car. Right. Now I see what my moms was doing to me when right. I was 16. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> okay. But I, didn't play, but I wasn't playing too short. Could you imagine your 16-year-old ass in your mama house bumping nothing but too short right. all day? Right, right. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Right. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right. Pussy. That's all I hear. Wop, wop, yeah. wop. And What's I, that? Wop, wop, wop. And I had to tell a nigga sometimes, like, damn, nigga, you don't listen to nothing with no killing in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> like, nigga, you don't listen to nothing with no killing in it, nigga? Uh, yeah, nah, nigga. <laughs> Everything is, I fucked your bitch, I fucked your bitch, yeah. I fucked her, I fucked your bitch, I fucked her. I'm about I to go her, wrong. I got that. I got that. that I got I'm about to go wrong. Nigga, like, sir, the Pop Smoke song, <laughs> nigga, that's that, 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 that. Let me tell you something right quick. <laughs> Somebody need to get these little young niggas some pussy. They rapping about it so right. much. They right. Say, right. Cause if they got something. some, they'll be quiet. Like Man, I mean, the nigga be just quiet and <laughs> like, content. But every fucking rap song he listened to, and I have to find myself knocking on this nigga door. Richard be at the crib. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga, Pop Smoke said. I'm about to go raw, cause I like what <laughs> I, just, I see. I just, I just nigga, don't get it. y'all didn't hear that Brother, shit. I, I listened to that shit one day. I was like, that nigga said, I'm about to go raw, cause I like what I see. Just because he like what he see. Yeah, That's just it. cause he That's like what he see. Man, when I was these kids, hey, I used to bump Blowjob Betty yeah. by Too Short. Nigga, how yeah, about, that, how was about in, that was in yo, you get me? You you not finna be at mom's house not at in the no, room. No. Not at my now, mama's house. Now, now, now my dad. No, 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 I'm going to keep it I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm keep at it home with this nigga. <laughs> and yeah. all I hear. I'm talk, and the nigga get up at 7 right. in the morning. Right, right, right. And he's a nigga that got the, you know, the speaker with the cars. Right, and right, you right, take right, it outside right, for right, the right, park. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, he got yeah. that shit in his bathroom. Right, okay. So 7 o'clock every morning, he waking up with somebody. Yeah, I fucked a little bitch in her pussy stack. I did a little yeah, something yeah, in her yeah, pussy yeah, stack. Yeah, and I'm like, dude. I'm like, really? Like, hey, but you know what? I can say I even had no eggs I'm like, yet. I'm like, just no, 7 orange juice. My upbringing was a little different because my dad had... The garage turned into a complete home, right? We had a little change. We had a little change. And Inglewood, shout out to Inglewood. Yeah, shout city, out to Inglewood. City of Champions. Yep, middle class killers. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, nigga, he would have them blow fly motherfucking uh, records and shit oh, like that. Yeah. That I would like. So when Too Short came, I was like, he's kind of getting this shit from this nigga. But a lot of niggas don't know about shit like that and Dolomite, blah, blah. I was playing them records yeah. and my pops was cool with it, though. But it was in his man cave, you know yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? I bet you mom wasn't cool with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, mom was like, I better be, nah. be in there bumping that cameo. And, and, I'm, a, and I'm a nigga. So you think I would Double be cool Dutch with it? Shit. Like, shit. Not before I'm not coffee. cool with it. Like, come on, man. It's 7 o'clock in my <laughs> I had a blunt. I had no coffee. No I got to wake up to, man, I got the little bitch. And she did a guy. She was like, every day, I'm like, God damn, man. Them kids. Yeah. It's, be, it's between give me some pussy and phone money. Yeah. Everybody oh, got yeah. some phone. kind of phone money. Bricks. <laughs> Brick. Phone bricks. Yeah, the craziest shit I've ever on, seen. He I think, you know, the females is on him right now. Oh, so for sure. everything is, man, the pussy, the girls, the pussy. I, I never gonna wreck bit. something. I took her. I did her this. I got your home girl yeah, and I get right. like yeah, this. Your baby mama call him Rex. Wait till he go to D one. You got to give him the game. And State and you got to you got you got to understand his dad is AWAC too. So <laughs> it, it, that, oh, he that don't shit. Care about that shit. Hey, but no, no, it's not about him caring. It's about. Others knowing oh, yeah, the that, around and him. it makes yeah. him like to a certain degree have to be kind of cool, my nigga. Like you, you yeah. set a hard standard, my nigga. Like yeah, you don't I even know. know. Just but give yeah, him the game. You know, That's him. what I did with he Deshaun. Know I bust him down in the right. Mm. That's right. I gave Deshaun. He was little. I pulled out a banana. You know when the banana be all fucked up and brown and shit. Right. I pulled out and I set him and my nephew down. Deshaun and my nephew Devon. I say you stick your thing in a woman. Your thing gonna come out looking like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's and a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. And they were scared as shit. A couple years later, I told them the same story, and then I gave them some rubbers. Right. 
My son, he's still walking around with rubbers right now. Bro, that's now I'm like, bro, dude, you done did him. You I'm like, dude, that story to Karan. Karan Nigga. already hot in the paint. <laughs> Karan already hot in the paint right now, man. Hey, he ready, he ready gonna, to go. He gonna look at now you, with, look like, at you like, with that banana and be like, man, that's a rotten banana. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga hot in the paint right now. Hey, but you know what? It's good you did that because my dad explained it to you that he had the man cave and everything. I, I went to my dad first and was like, you know, I felt like I could ask him if I could bring a girl back to the crib. And he was like, he sat me down. He told me about condoms. He was like, you know, just don't, you know, don't leave school to just yeah. do it. Just come right out to school. Get her back home quickly, blah, blah. And just be cool about your shit, bro. So, like, that stuck with me from 14 on wearing a condom and shit like that, which is why Man, I have no kids to date. Up, you don't have and see, don't that, have and see that's none. what I'm telling my son He's 28 I'm like damn dude I'm getting up there I want to have some grandkids That I can run around with And he's like He's nah. like man I ain't nah. fucking with I no didn't have mine right I, I got my one. money I got <laughs> one blood daughter I, be, I got one care. daughter A blood daughter I didn't have until I was 32 And then my stepdaughter I raised Since she was like four so Man she I had my too. first kid but I was 16 That's it Right Big D how many kids you got? Zero. All yeah. right. Give Zero for Big D. <laughs> y'all niggas D, need to stop. motherfucker D. Y'all need to start getting on top. <laughs> He's like, y'all got to get I on top. I think it's time. <laughs> y'all been lazy. Y'all been lazy on the bottom. <laughs> what, All we right. on, what we on? You, oh, yeah, yeah. It's my time. Yeah, right for now. sure. Okay, for sure. I'm going to start with uh, I'm gonna start with the mother-son record of the week, man. Let's Let me go. pull that out. Let's what go, you got, brother? What you Man, we got my boy, Torre. Okay, let me put his cup to the side. Torre. Torre is a super dope. East Coast MC, I met uh, pretty much a while back on tour. Let me get that in the camera right. Am I doing that right? Okay. That one, yeah. Pretty much out on tour. Um, this album is actually produced by a bunch of different people, namely uh, uh, Premier. Premier is on this. Oh, um, oh. Ninth Wonder. Oh. Um, okay. Black Milk. Like a lot of real, you know, super dope underground cats that I've met throughout my times uh, just traveling. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all those dudes. But um, is Torre new? is pretty dope. No, Torre is, is 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 this isn't super new. Um, I think it's like I want to say yeah, two thousand eighteen. Okay. Actually, it's a collection from two thousand eight to two thousand eighteen. But you can get this record downstairs here at Soul Folks at forty three seventeen Degnan with Mother Son Records, who is actually one of our vendors in the building, and that is at Mother Son Records, spell Son with a U in it. And uh, this is fifteen dollars, man. So I'm gonna just sit that right there. We just gonna like let that just chill for That's the for the That's moment. Right. And um, and you know what? Just real quick, man. Just for you niggas out there that ain't knowing, like this is a pager. But the difference is the difference with this pager is power on. Yeah, it's a speaker, my nigga. It's a what? <laughs> it's a That's speaker, my dope. nigga. And just for the sake, of, I don't want. Um, oh, okay. I don't want them fancy I, things. Yeah, it's I one of them wondering. fancy I, things. I've been seeing one of them. Yeah, more. bro. Yeah, and I got, um, I got Karan one of them for Christmas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dope, yeah. Dope, As dope. you know, it's about about a hundred bucks. And um, this is a, a new product that's going to be in the store. But yeah, it is a flashlight. That's my bump box. Yeah, it's a flashlight. <laughs> that's pretty dope. It's um, it's a speaker. You can actually uh, upload um. Stuff via uh, micro uh, SD card. You can okay. actually oh, hook some up. storage. Yeah, uh, actually, you can play. You can actually play the micro SD card from this bad boy. It's That's crazy. Um, you do it also, bump or do it sound like it some bump, little dude, cell phone dude, shit? I was gonna no, play, right. but it's I just don't want speaker. the show to yeah, get like caught bumps. up. It got. I bump, walk around them houses low with that end. motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Trust bump me, bro. Yeah. Bump box right here. Um, you might see something with some Soul Folks logos on it, or maybe some Stimulus One music logos, or maybe some fucking, you know, Sick Block TV logos on it. But um, yeah, it's about 100 bucks, nice. and you can pick this up here at the store, or you can get at me, uh, Montage One, spell out the one uh, on pretty much any platform. Um, and that's how we doing it. I'm going to flash you out like that. That's hard. Yeah, that's hard. so. That is dope. Yeah, let's that's go. That's dope. Let's get on with the thing. We get to get to some other shit uh, a little sure, later. For sure, for sure. All right, now that we are in our prime, prime age. I ain't going to say middle age. We in prime age. Uh -huh. What has kept all of us, um, really eight since he's our big guest today, uh -huh. yes, what's sir. kept you pumped, motivated, still to do music, still dropping dope albums, dope songs, videos? Uh, what's keeping you going, doing the music? <clears throat> Um, I know a lot of people would 
question, you know, with what's going on in hip hop right now and music or whatever. And, you know, a lot of people consider us veterans of, of this hip hop, but I've always had a love for just making music, being mm. able to do it, oh. you know, shit. My first fucking three, four albums, I didn't make a dime. Mm. So I did it because I loved hip hop. Right. And I just want to do it. So that's what keeps me uh, motivated to making music for uh, the people who accept MCH still. Right. Um, I don't try to compete with what's going on. You uh-huh. know, you hear a lot of shit. Right. Yeah. I, don't, I don't try to do it. I can't. Right. I'm not going to keep up with it. What I'm going to do is because over the course of my career, I have established a fan base to where they encourage me to do music. Right. Yeah. So I do it for them. You got to so, have a like a small cult following. You probably don't even fucking you, you, know. It. I have a, you know from here to fucking the yeah. Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Definitely. Uh, if you have ever checked me out on live or anything, you know, you'll see people hitting me from as far as away from South Africa. Right. You know. Dope so uh, that is one thing that has in, enabled me as far as this new wave of, of internet and whatever, uh-huh. uh, motherfuckers that I would probably never speak to in a lifetime because right. they're so far away and have never been able to say just what's up to eight or let me know that, hey, man, I bought music to drive by or mm. uh, We Come Strapped is one of my favorite projects, you know. Right. Um, I'm able to do that. So it's people, even if, even if it ain't people in your own backyard, Right. You got a motherfucker 10,000 miles away telling you, man, don't you ever stop fucking rapping. Right. That's right. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. So you do it for them. Not that I look at it as, hmm, I'm finna try to make me a record so I can go buy me a G4 plane yeah. or a fucking Rolls yeah. Royce. Yeah, no. I tell niggas every day I'm comfortable in who I am right. as far as the artist I am right. and what I know I can pull in. Right. Yeah. You know? And if you can be comfortable with yourself with that and knowing like, nah, I ain't finna make $2 million. Right. I might can make 50, 60. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm comfortable with that. Exactly. You get me? Right. Because what's that gonna do? That's gonna keep paying my bills right. to where I can sit my ass here every day and right. chill. Right. My son gonna be able to go to college. And I'm able to motherfucking smoke me a motherfucking blunt every yeah, day and yeah. not stress And do what you want to do. Exactly. That's the thing, and That's man. a blessing. And that's I'm, a blessing. I'm fine with me. I don't have to have a Rolls Royce. Right. Like, yeah. I can drive a Charger. Right, right. I don't have to have a G4 plane, nigga. Right. I can ride a motherfucking commercial. I'm a good fuck. <laughs> Waking up and being able to do whatever comes to fucking mind, like, is the shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm priceless. realizing that, it's like, priceless. a whole lot in life. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be comfortable with yourself. Yeah. And, and not to say that nobody in this motherfucker dreams of not winning the motherfucking $500 million right. lottery. Yeah. Right. You get me? We all have dreams, right. but at one point, at some point in your life, you have to get comfortable with yourself and right. where yeah. you at. Totally. Right. You get me? Yeah. You can't be worried about God damn it, man, I got I, this motherfucker got this and they got that and I ain't got but this little. Man, you gotta be comfortable. Right. Man, you stress your motherfucking ass. Right. You stress yourself and, out and, for the rest of your yeah, life. And, and, you and stress and, yourself out for the rest of your fucking life trying to yeah. get with the next motherfucker. Yeah. Got yep. if 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 you got that willpower, yeah, and it's written for you, right. it's gonna happen, right? It's, and if you trying for it that hard, but some of us, if you fuck around and get it, that should have drive your ass crazy, right? In some yeah, cases, it's a cases. killer motherfucker. Some you of know what us, I'm saying? some of us, normal. It's okay to be normal. Right. Yeah, it's, it's real okay. Talk, yeah. Right. It's, it's okay. It, it's nice too. It's okay. <laughs> it's good living. Yeah. You me? The, it's the, good the, living. Your show right here. Right. It's okay. Yeah. You not the drink champs. Right. Exactly. Or we not motherfucking shit. Revolt. Right. Exactly. I tell my niggas all day. We the gangster chronicles. We right. fine. Right. We fine. We ain't motherfucking Joe Rogan and shit yeah. like that. Right. But you see motherfuckers tune in every yeah, right. day. Exactly. 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 Yeah, buddy. Exactly. Exactly. So be comfortable in the skin you in. Yeah. And mm-hmm. when you do that. Man, you're going to wake up every day like, man, I'm good. I'm That's kidding. what I'm yeah. saying, Real bro. Talk. That's Real what talk. I'm saying. I'm give on it, that now. D, give me something for that. Be yourself. Yes, sir. Be comfortable. Work hard. And normal is the new 
millionaire. If you can say you normal and you just comfortable in your own skin. I yeah. mean, a lot of niggas fooling you anyway, right? right. right. Phone money, phone yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Money. I was about to fuck say fuck earlier, they, 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 these it. niggas know how to actually buy the, the movie money. Like, nigga, yeah. I, get on, I, get on, I get on Instagram and Facebook Prop right money. now. Nigga, nigga, I got 10 million, nigga. Who uh, gonna uh, say on the I shoulder. don't? Yeah. On the shoulder. Who says I don't? Exactly. No, that is MCA. Nigga, I got he 10, probably got, I got nine ten, and a half. I got 10 million, nigga, right now. Right. Prop money. Like, a lot of shit is fake as a nigga. I can go lease me a motherfucking ten bedroom mansion, right? And and, and put a lease car or Airbnb, Airbnb that and motherfucker, Airbnb, and, and, and tell and, a motherfucker I'm a car from like, Toro. But <laughs> I would rather be comfortable. Real you tough. get me? Right. And yeah. I would rather be in a position to where I don't have to press the next the right. motherfuckers, Ooh. man. Right. I'm tired of impressing niggas, man. Right. Nigga, nigga, like my girl be like, nigga, you just. Put some clothes on. Nigga, I'm going out just like this. <laughs> <laughs> All these motherfucking flip flops. Right, 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 right. right. Motherfucking stained nah. up I told somebody the other day, I was like, nigga, I'll put a suit and tie on for fashion. I don't do it to make a statement. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I can make a statement in anything I have on because it's the person inside the clothes that's going to make the statement. It's not the clothes themselves. So when you see me in a suit, it's just me saying, like, nigga, I just want to see myself in a suit today. Man, like, you see it. me in a suit, that means I had to go somewhere in the suit. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. like I had. Other than that, I'm in some sweats. Like yeah. he say, some flip flops. Yeah. I ain't yeah. shaved my head. Me, I'm yeah. shitting. Right. Yeah, I'm to me too. <laughs> you see me in a suit, somebody done died. He's or like, somebody died. Died. Or they get Other married. Than that yeah, motherfucker, yeah. I'm showing up like. What? Right. And if you got a problem with it, I could stay the fuck home. Oh, <laughs> right. yeah. Real Easy. talk. Let me tell you something. I'd be rather be at home right here in my chair smoking a blunt Hell than yeah. on the freeway right. trying to impress a motherfucker to show right. up something. Yeah. Real talk. So real talk. That's real. You, you have to at one at some point in your life, you got to be comfortable with who the, with who fuck, the fuck, fuck you are. You are. Right. Words right. to live That's by, it, right. brother. Words to when live by. When you do by. that, you'll be able to live comfortably. You won't stress about nothing. I I said, mm -hmm. we all go through shit. We all go through bills and regular life. And yeah. I mean, shit, we all know, we all humans. Fuck it. Nobody better than the next motherfucker. We all wake up. We all wash our ass, put our socks on, brush our teeth. Some motherfuckers might In not. In that order? You no, hear me? Yeah. Some motherfuckers <laughs> might not. Some motherfuckers yeah. may wake but, up and just listen to their son. If you normal, I want some pussy. I want <laughs> some <laughs> <laughs> or, you, or you could be me. God, yeah. this shit. <laughs> Big Montage, we're going to end on that okay. note. Because being yourself is the only way you got to be and can be. We're I'm going to let you go ahead. Right. We need a, a podcast of the week. We need some podcasts of the week. For sure. All right, let me see. Do we got some? We, we don't have to. No, we got a little something. Oh, oh I know we did. <laughs> yeah. Said, of course. What you got, what you got this but of week? Of course. I came with it in the uh, in the Target bag, <laughs> nigga, like on some like uh, parking lot transaction <laughs> shit. Throw off. That's the throw off. No, nah, this is um, this is uh, some white buffalo, I believe. <laughs> yeah, some white buffalo. White buffalo. <laughs> yeah, it's a little OG ish. You know That's what I'm saying? A little, <laughs> a little frosty. You know what I'm saying? It's white buffalo danky. Again, you know, I'm a professional uh, unknotter and shit. Real <laughs> niggas with real pounds know how to get indica, the knots open. Indica or sativa? Oh, uh, this is definitely an indica. It's a little rough around the edges, I think, but uh, as far as the smoke, it's actually on point, bro. Yeah? Yeah, let's let's snap the nug up out of here and see what we, <laughs> see what we working with. You ain't have uh. to put the orange peel in there. That's some good weed. No, nah, no you orange, peel. orange peel. <laughs> <laughs> This shit is cool. I actually, you know, it's not honestly like the shit that I've been bringing uh, for the last week or so or last couple of weeks. But this shit is smoky as far as in that blunt. And uh, this is a mix of, I believe, uh, Hindu, which is old school, and, um, and Tahoe, OG. Um, like I said, this bag is kind of, you know, a little stemmy, but it's, it's definite indoor. And uh, it's pretty fucking... Uh, Pretty nosy, bro. Uh, Where you can get that at? Pretty, pretty nosy. I got this actually from Canamar, and that's actually Cauliflower for you, mm. for you niggas that knew about them before. But yeah, at Canamar or at Cauliflower, they're at the Turp on Thursday nights. It's kind of secret location, but uh, at the end of the day, if you want to go, get at me at Montage One. Spell out the one. I'll let you know what's good. And that's uh, the podcast oh, of the God. motherfucking podcast week. Of the week. And we definitely going to smoke some of, it up, some of it up later on. That's right. That's right. See so we going to end soon, but anything else you want to say, Hey, where you at? We know you at Gangsta Chronicles. Album dropping. I need plugs. Yeah, man. you got some uh, new shirts and, and new clothes. Yeah, man, we got um, um, 
the new album is uh, Lessons. That's out right now. We got like uh-huh. three videos off of there. I got one nice. with uh, uh, my boy Conway from the East. Shout out Conway. I got one. Oh, you with, got one with Conway? Griselda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm Shout fucking talking Shout out Griselda about. Boys, my boy Conway. Um, I got another uh, single out off the Lessons Project with uh, Dave East and my boy Chill right here. Yes, oh, okay. yeah. Slapper. Oh, dope. Oh, yeah. And then I got another video, a single out. It's called Blue Wave. All of them is off the Lessons Slapping. Project. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm working on this new clothing line. We got a little stuff right here today. We got some CM Dub gear. Oh, uh, nice. I got this clothing line. It's called Official Clothing uh, mm-hmm. Company. Okay. Uh, I've been working on it for probably the last year. Okay. Um, uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff, you know, me and Chill as far as his solo stuff, my stuff, CMW, working with other people, videos, just promotion and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. uh, and then especially with me coaching, uh, I just started back coaching. I took like two years off, but I, I came back to coach uh, Chill Two Sons. Okay. So, uh, um, but I uh, took a break from that. So now we're about to start the clothing line. That should be hitting out in the next two weeks. Um, working on a new project, which is Revolution in Progress, uh-huh. which will probably be out sometime in June. Okay. Uh, I'm just taking my time right with it. I know Chill's about to drop the <clears throat> Elephant Project. Elephant. So, yep. um, just you know, try to give give space right there so everybody can push their shit, push, push they without stepping on toes. That's right. So my man gonna put his shit out. We gonna pump that up, promote the Elephant Project, and in the meantime, like I said, Gangsta Chronicles podcast. You can catch me on uh, Instagram Live uh-huh. every morning on my Instagram Live. I do a little wake your punk ass up little uh-huh. show dope. segment. Dope, yeah. hell. Uh-huh. dope. So, uh, and, and, yeah. and let me plug. Let me just plug a little little something that me and Chill got started, and uh, yeah. we gonna have a homie Teela in it. A little little something I've been dreaming of for a little while called Big Homie Status. Looks like that's gonna be. Me, Chill, and Tila, and Shout I would love to, to have you on some shit, my nigga. Yeah, so sounds yeah. good. Sounds yeah. like a yeah. good product. Shit is killer. Yeah, we got definitely. two. We got two in the chamber yeah, right we now. We deadly. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. be we careful. Some shit. Be yeah. careful. <laughs> That's good yeah. shit. That's gonna welcome. Play. To listen to the sick show, we are out. Today. And let's leave with that sound bite one more time. One more time, G. Come on, come he on. He got it. He got it. Hold D, on. motherfucker. Hey, homie, you need some help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There it is. I like that. Love it. Punk ass nigga. Come Legendary, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wake y'all punk That's ass all up. I'm saying, Wake nigga. Y'all punk ass ass up. Up. Sick show, nigga. We out. Sick show. We out. Shout Deuces. out to Gangsta Chronicles, my boy. Hey, that's what's up. Real shit lasts forever.